Mother Nature is making tick season even more dangerous here in Michigan for people and their pets. And we're not just talking about Lyme disease either. Our Paula Tutman checked with experts, including our Dr. Frank McGeorge, on what you need to know to keep your family safe. I'm at Blue Pearl Veterinary Partners in Southfield, and it is a mammoth facility. They take care of all kinds of animals. Run <laughs> like pancake here, who's climbing all over me. And they've actually already seen their first cases of tick-borne diseases in animals, including a dog that died. Dory needs an exam. Dr. Jessica Romine is a vet for Blue Pearl Veterinary Partners, and she explains that dogs are not the only salad bar for ticks. Warm-blooded creatures are. Ticks have different hosts that they prefer, but in general they prefer warm mammals. So there's particular ones that live on deer, that live on mice, that live on foxes, skunks, any of those. But all of those ticks will also bite a dog, bite a cat, or bite a human if given the opportunity. This year, because of the two consecutive warm winters, ticks are surviving longer and migrating farther north, putting Michigan right in the crosshairs. Especially this last year, the ticks are able to survive for longer periods of time and on hosts that they wouldn't normally be able to, and so they can set up shop and live for a lot longer in these colder climates. Tom walks his dogs regularly along our state's beautiful trails. And while he does check his dogs regularly for ticks, he says he's really not so concerned about himself. I don't think you have to worry that much. This year, however, humans are being cautioned to check themselves as thoroughly as they check their pets. The official website of the state of Michigan warns of several emerging tick-borne diseases that will be a danger to humans this year. And by this year, we mean right now. Lyme disease, Southern Tick Associated Rash Illness, or STARI, Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever, Ehrlichosis, and Tularemia. And our own Dr. McGeorge warns of another tick-borne disease moving toward Michigan. One of the emerging diseases is called Powassan virus. That's a very severe virus that causes a brain infection and is really difficult to diagnose and can lead to death in 10% of the cases. If you find a tick on you or your pet, remove it quickly and properly. The best thing to do is to use tweezers and grab them right by the head, right by where their little, their little mandibles are in your skin, grab firmly and pull straight back and just remove them that way. Don't smash them, don't suffocate them. That will more likely inject what's in them into you. But the best way to avoid tick-borne diseases is to do regular body checks. Of course, we always take care of our pets, but this year in particular, we have to take care of ourselves too. <laughs> right, Pancake, I got that. Paula Tutman, Local 4. Thank you, Paula, and Pancake, too. Local 4, by the way, bringing Metro Detroit animal lovers together with our All for Pets page. You can find stories about pet health, animal rescues, and local events. Just go to clickondetroit.com forward slash pets.